Since I entered to a college, I have less time to make a bug story and upload it on the internet. The last of my Lepidopteran record is Golden Birdwing Butterfly. After that, I published some of short clip about bird, beetle, and spider. Then that's it. But I still love to explore the nature. I joined a conservation club at when I was in college. I did a bird leader for four years. Study a diversity of golden orb spider, and pets a caterpillar as a hobby. But mostly were same species that I recorded before. After I finished the college and studied in higher degree, I know that I have even less time than before because of lots of laboratory experiment. Wildlife explore became to something that could be done less. However, during in that moment of seriousness, nature gave me something to do. It gave me some of the egg, and I know exactly what it is. It is a common rose butterfly egg, the one who fed on indica birdwort wine, as the same with Troides acas. And I recorded bird wings before, so why don't I do it to the common rose too? This seems to be a great activity during the hard study, and now you're watching a life cycle of Parcleoptera aristociae, or a common rose butterfly. A common rose butterfly belongs to Papilloniidae family. It can be found almost everywhere in Asia, and it's not a threatened species in Thailand. Common rose likes to live in every type of forest as long as there are host plants scattered nearby. The most common plant food for its caterpillar is Aristolochia potiari, or indica birdwort wine. We call it in Thai as Glachausida. Other two plant food for common rose is Aristolochia tacala or Glachau pimot. It's very look similar to Glachau sida, different just on shape of leaf, stem size, and shape of fruit. And the last one is tortilla species, but unfortunately, I have never seen it before. In that case, I always grow a birdwatch wine to attract these two butterflies to come inside the house. I also plant it at my club in college, and yes, the butterfly came in. Not often, but at least I got the egg. Until in the beginning of March 2023, during juniors in my club went to camping. I came downstairs to watch the ditches. I saw one common rose butterfly flew around the vine for an hour. In that moment, I knew. That she is trying to lay some eggs. A few days later, I came back to check the plant again, and yes, I found more than 20 eggs scattered around vines, and some of them are already hatched. So I decided to make record of butterfly life cycle again, even though I studied and worked very hard. I started from collect the first insta and kept them in caterpillar's box. There are several larvae, but I collected only five because I want to make sure that at least there are larvae left to survive in the wild. And this is what first insta looks like after one week from egg, orange, but will turn red when older. For the rest of eggs on the vines, they are not hatched even though two weeks passed. So I decided to take the egg to see it under the stereox core, and I found this. This is what the common rose egg looks like. And this group of eggs has been damaged. I guess it might be cause of parasite or something else. Second insta becomes scarlet, but white on segment 5. Third and fourth insta are looks almost the same, different on just size. 
comparing size with 5th instar. When they turn to the next state of instar, they will stop eating and walk around, then stop at some area in the box. If they did this behavior, do not worry, they are preparing to molt. That is a hint. This is the fifth instar turning to final stage after two weeks pass. In this, the larva is the biggest and can consume for five to six leaves within four days. After four days pass, the caterpillar stops eating and change their behavior. They are trying to climb to the top of the lid without care about food anymore, no matter how many times I pick it up and put it on the leaf. In that moment, I set up the pupation stage with a long branch, pins in a pot and pouring water under the pot for ant prevention. I moved the larva to the top of the branch. She climbed up and down for an hour. This action means she is trying to investigate if the stick is safe for turns into a pupa or not. If the space feels safe, she will stop and take some rest. I have five caterpillars, but only four can make it. The fourth one was accidentally drowned into the water that I used it to keep the leaves fresh. I kept him in an alcohol for further DNA experiment. Back to survive larva. After two hours pass, she starts to prepare for pupation. This is the third caterpillar for example. She begins with climb down a bit and spinning a sheet of silk. Then use this sheet to cling the anal prolate to the branch. After this end, she continually undergoes to the next step by spinning a silk from her spinneret and attach it on a branch. Then drag the silk around the back of her body to attach on the other side. This fourth caterpillar is gently pulling the silk and drag it around her body. She has no bones, so she can easily bend her neck like that. ตรงปากของมันมันจะมีต่อมต่อมพ่นใหญ่อยู่แล้วมันก็เอาใยมาแปะไปตรงนี้แล้วตอนนี้มันกําลังเอาใยมาพันรอบๆตัวถ้าท
On the next day, I came back to see her in early morning, and I see this. She is already in pupation post. So I decided to set the time lapse mode to see her differentiation in each time. Starts from eight o'clock. Her body is rarely changed at all until dusk. The skin is becoming slightly wrinkled. The spike on her back is smaller. Prole is completely gone. Now her body is so wrinkled that it shapes like a J. And suddenly, she peeled the skin off and revealed the true form which was inside, a red pink pupa that looks like an alien. Since I set up a camera for 12 hours, I have only two minutes to capture this very rare moment. This transformation is called metamorphosis, and at this stage, we call her a chrysalis. Unlike a cocoon of most of moth, chrysalis doesn't cover with silk. After the metamorphosis is completed, the pupa still keeps to set up some part of her body, like she developed the two pairs of horn on her head, four pair of something that looked like a fin on her dorsal lateral side. Her back began to bend a lot, and coloration changed from red, red pink, into reddish brown within two hours. If you didn't see it clearly, try to look again on this third lava with more speed. The transformation is rare and bizarre. Even juniors in a club pay an attention to them. On the next day, I came back to see any update. The chrysalis is stable now. Their shape is weird, but coloration is 
looks alike to a branch. I just guess that it might be some kind of camouflage. First chrysalis was beginning on 16 March. Second one began on 18 March. Third one on 24th, and last one was on 26th. For the lava skin that fell down, this is what lava skin looks like. From now on, only thing that I do is wait. Wait until she emerges. Normally, common rules take time in this stage for two weeks. During that time, almost nothing has changed or been noticed on the chrysalis. Until two days before emerge, the chrysalis become dark. One day before emerge, she become darker than before. And next day, four hours before down, chrysalis finally has a clearly changed upper part black, lower part turns from reddish brown into pink. All of these are the true color of common rose, and you can see that her body is slowly split from her chrysalis shell. And finally, After one month of waiting, she finally comes out and see the outside with a gorgeous body. But her wing cannot fly out to see the world yet. Wing is too small and wet. So she needs to absorb the air and let it flow through her wings to expand the wings. She can spread all of her wings in 10 minutes. 
but still need to let it dry and strong enough for three hours. Now for the explanation. Common rose butterfly has a bright pink color body on head, thorax, and abdomen. On dorsal and ventral side contain a big black horizontal stripe on upper part on each segment. Four wing deep black on base and margin. Several faint color stripes running between wings just like most of swallow tail. Hind wing has a white stripe on cell 1 to cell 5, while first stripe is slightly pink and has a large rectangle pink spot on margin of cell 2 to cell 6. These pink spots are one of the keys to tell which common rose is female or male. The chrysalis is just a crust now, and the liquid inside it that is a waste from metabolism, which a common rose kept it since a pupa. After three hours pass, before I go back to the lab, I decide to take her downstairs. And she fly away before I say goodbye. Lastly, the fourth butterfly finally emerged.
for the pink spot on her high wing. The male has a square and pale pink spot. On the other hand, female has more round and darker pink. Can you tell the difference? Please comment the answer on below because I am not sure too. And that is our story of common rose butterfly. Please leave a like button and hit the subscribe for more video. The next video might be exploring of Nepenthes Malaysiae, a pyrophytic pitcher plant on Pukadung National Park of Thailand. Until then, thank you so much for watching.